ladies and gentlemen. I'm at a hotel. <laughs> I'm at a hotel. Power is out all around me. In fact, power is out all through the state of New Jersey. We were all right until we had a really bad storm. It was bad. And power was intermittently going out in the beginning and then it completely came to a complete halt and did not come back on. And we looked at the map to see how many places are out as places all the way from the northern part of the state down to the southern part. All out. And at first we were going to tough it out and stay at home and then when we realized how long it might be <laughs> before power is restored we just decided to come to a local hotel and believe me we are lucky to be here because all of the hotels are booked y'all <laughs> almost virtually all of them the only reason why I was able to get a room here is because I called in advance to find out if they had room. They did. We made it up here just in time. We made it just in time. Uh, in fact, um, when we were in a lobby, they were turning people away. So, whoo, man. I mean, if I weren't able to get the hotel room, then probably would be home sitting in the dark for the next few days. So New Jersey weather storm, more than 300,000 people without power, roads flooded as heat wave gives way to fury. And it sure did. It was 94 degrees for us today. And it all of a sudden got dark and it was a powerful storm you know i sometimes i think when i tell people how bad our storms are i think sometimes you don't believe me but the storms are treacherous now you know i have seen you know bad storms before but i never seen so many back to back it is almost like every time it rains, it is a violent storm. So a blustering heat wave gave way to powerful thunderstorms Monday and left hundreds of thousands of people without power across New Jersey. Communities around the region were hit with downed trees, power outages, more than 300,000 customers were reported to be without electricity among the state's four main utility companies as of around 8.20 p.m. Yeah, that's about right. And this person was just showing you rain clouds in Brigantine, New Jersey. I know where that is. Been there several times. Few areas were left unscathed by the severe weather towns spanning from ocean middlesex mercer union camden burlington bergen and monmouth counties were among areas with reports of flooded roadways down trees and other storm damage more than 45 percent of monmouth county lost power according to Sheriff Sean Golden, who reported roads blocked and trees down in several towns. Howell police said 18,000 residents and businesses were without power, impacting nearly the entire town. Photos showed a large tree uprooted and down into a house. Roadways were closed. Trees are blocking lanes of travel, utility lines are down, and there are multiple trees down into residents and vehicles. There is no time to be on roadways without justifiable reason, the police department said in a statement. 
So here is a statement that went out on Facebook from Howell Township Police Department. So, wow. So here you go. This is just from a storm. You would think, just looking at these uprooted trees, you would think a hurricane came through. I mean, it was that powerful. Um, I believe that some places in the state, they had clocked winds at 70 miles an hour. And y'all know that's a Category 1 hurricane. But this was just an ordinary storm. The township is in bad shape. Do not expect power to be restored for an extended period of time. This may be multiple days. Help out each other, Howell Police posted on Facebook. Yeah, he's right. You know, I'm anticipating probably staying in this hotel for a few days. We may be here for a few days. In Neptune, police said utility poles were down throughout the township. Much of the town doesn't have power at this time. Stay off the roads, the department posted on Twitter. Neptune, I had a good friend that was from Neptune. Special Operation Technical Rescue Team shared photos of trees that crashed down into homes causing major damage. There were no immediate reports of any injuries. And look at that. Woo! Oh my God, that house is gone. Oh, look at the damage on that house. It went right through the house. The tree went right through the house. It went right through the... I've never seen nothing like that before. Oh my goodness. That's some serious damage. I feel sorry for whoever owns that house. At Monmouth University campus in West Long Branch. That's down by the shore right there. One person was hurt from a tree-related incident during the storm. University spokeswoman Morgan um, Dudzinski said the person was reported to be alert and conscious and taken to the hospital. Several downed trees were reported on the Garden State Parkway between exit 105 and exit 116. That's a pretty good span between those exits too. That must be a lot of trees. All right, let's see what that is. Neptune Township PD. Okay, so they're just telling again people to stay off the road. In Oakland, Residents shared photos of large hail from the strong storm Monday evening. Oh, wow. What did you say? Hail? Wow. We didn't get no hail, but wow. Looked like in other parts of the state they did. Video showed major flooding on residential streets in areas of Rawway and Edison. And yes, that's Rawway that... Uh, Rawway State Prison. Yeah, you know. Mm, wow, look at that street. Yeah, that is, that's some bad flooding there. Okay. Ocean County Sheriff's Office urged people to stay off the road as emergency crews responded to reports of damage areas of Northern and Western Ocean City were left with widespread power outages. This storm packed a wallop. We were hit hard. There are multiple wired down calls. Okay, yeah, so I'm sure they are getting flooded with phone calls. There are multiple trees down. The sheriff's office said, do not travel unless you have to, the agency said. Let the responders do their jobs. Yes. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my state is falling apart. <laughs> Damn. 
Yeah, so it's just talking about customers without power. There's a lot of us without power. I mean, look, now I told y'all how bad the storm is. Now I want you to listen to this. About 230,000 JC, P, and L customers were without service as of late Monday, according to the company. Wind speeds were reported at 76 miles an hour in Burlington County, 73 miles an hour in Ocean County, and spread 60 to 70 miles an hour wind in Monmouth County. So that tells you how powerful that storm was. And like I said, those are wind speeds you see with hurricanes. And this was just a storm. So it, it's very destructive out here. And I'm telling you, I know power will be out for the next several days. It's no way they're going to get everything up across the state as fast as as fast as you think mm -hmm. you know it, it's just no way y'all I think we're going to be down and out for a while I would like to get back home because you know after a few days hotels can get expensive and the other thing that I dread is I'm going to have to throw out my food. <laughs> I don't think my food is going to survive multiple days. So I'm going to have to go home and literally empty out my freezer, my refrigerator. <laughs> everything is going to be lost. Everything's going to be lost. I'm going to lose everything in my refrigerator and my um, deep freezers. I actually have two refrigerators in a deep freezer and I'm I'm about to lose everything uh, y'all I'm gonna lose everything I dread going through the task of throwing that food out and you know what I just went grocery shopping when was it Thursday 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 I went grocery shopping y'all and I'm gonna have to throw all of my stuff out it just the thought of it just makes my stomach turn it really does. But please tell me what you think, y'all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.